Okay, boys and girls, today you are going to read Tornado. As we read, remember to monitor or keep track of your comprehension or your understanding of the text. Draw on the strategies that you know to help you stay focused within reading the text. When we do get to the text, you are going to notice that the words that we covered today, the vocabulary words, they're going to be within the text. Raise your hands if you have any questions about them. Okay? And remember, we can always use context clues to figure out words that we do not know. All right? We are going to be reading Tornadoes by Ben Chatterby. Let's begin reading. Tornadoes are an unpredictable and deadly force of nature. They usually come from thunderclouds. Warm air on the ground rises to meet cooler air moving down toward Earth. When the air masses meet, a large thundercloud forms. Just looking at the very first paragraph, who can tell me what genre this text is? Yes. It is nonfiction. And who can tell me how they know it's nonfiction? Yes. Excellent. It is giving us facts and information about tornadoes. So very who good. can tell me what the very first paragraph was about that we just read? Let's think in our minds. What is it mostly about? Yes. How it forms and that it's what? Deadly. It can be very deadly. Very good. As we look here, we can see our text feature, the photographs. And here we have a what? A caption. Let's read the caption. It says, tornadoes can damage or destroy homes, lands, and cars. Why is the author showing you these pictures right here? Why? Yes. To show you what the tornado is destroying and it's giving meaning, the caption is giving meaning to these pictures so you know exactly what the author is trying to show you at this time. Here is a home being damaged, here is vehicles being damaged, and here is what outside would look like if it were the trees and the land being damaged. So we know that our topic is about tornadoes, and now we can see a little bit of how the tornado looks and how it's formed. Let's move on to the next paragraph. Are we ready? Yep. As warm and cool air swirl in the thundercloud, they form a funnel. If the funnel is strong, it drops from the crowd, it becomes a tornado. What should people do when there is a tornado warning? Read what Adam Reynolds and his family did. We were eating dinner. We heard a series of sirens. We rushed to the basement with our transitor radio, an emergency kit. In the kit, there was a bunch of medical supplies. Stop. Why do you think you would carry a kit of medical supplies to the basement? Yes. So if you get hurt, you would have immediate um, attention to your wound. You're able to help yourself before. It's going to take a very long time for the ambulance to come. So whatever you could do prior to them coming, you may want to do. Right? OK? Ready? If you don't have a basement, go inside a closet. Pay attention to public safety announcements and stay safe. So what is the reason why you would need to bring a radio with you? Yes. To hear what's going on around you, to know where help is, if help is coming, what you should do next. Showing you right here. Yes. And we call this what? It's showing you a diagram of how the tornado was formed. Very good. So you can see this cool air coming in, mixing with the warm air, and you see slowly how the tornado progresses over time. OK? You can see that if you are in school, like these children here, they're doing what? What are they doing in this picture right here? Yes. They're taking shelter. They're taking shelter. They're what we call doing a tornado drill. 
And if we read the caption, during a tornado warning, people gather in hallways, basements, and shelters. If we were doing a drill here at this school, we would either be getting under our desk or we too would be in the hallways just like in the photograph here, practicing what you do in case tornado comes, okay? What new knowledge did you gain about how tornadoes are formed from your reading? What new knowledge did you gain? What new facts, what new information did you gain? Yes. So you notice that the cool and the warm air come together and turns into a spiral. Any other new information you gain from this reading? Yes. They are unpredictable and they can be deadly. If the author, let's think about the author's viewpoint. If the author is making a statement that it could be deadly, does the, author, does the author think that tornadoes are positive or negative? Yes, negative. And what key word tells me that the author thinks it is negative? Yes, deadly, exactly. We have to look for those clue words to help us with the author's perspective on this topic, okay? How do you react to changes in nature? Yes. You panic? Do you want to panic? Do you want to start screaming, ah, a tornado is coming? Do we want to do that? Probably not. We want to stay calm. We want to stay collected. We want to say, we have prepared for this. This is what we need. Somebody grab the radio. Somebody grab the flashlight. Somebody get the medical supplies. Let's go to where? And if we have no basement, where do we go? We go to the class. Do we stand outside and look? No. Do I want to see that tornado coming to get me? No. I do not. So how you react makes a difference because the author said it is deadly. So we need to kick our brains in gear and we need to move very, very quickly when it comes. Do we have that problem here in Florida? No. Not so much, but are you always going to be here in Florida? No. no, you're not. So we have to move quickly, we have to be precise, and we have to remember our drills and what we have read to know what to do, okay? So it says here in paragraph four that we heard a series of sirens. The series of sirens is your warning. You're only going to get about a 10 minute ahead of time warning, right? You got about 10 minutes to grab what you can grab and get to where you need to get to before it comes. Siren is the woo, 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 woo that's going off that gives you that advance notice, like it's time to move, move now. This is not the time to sit there and continue eating dinner or to sit there playing with your PlayStation 5. That's not the time. That is stop what you're doing, get up and go, get your baby sister, get your baby brother. We got things we gotta do and we gotta move right now. You understand? To summarize what we have learned is tornadoes are unpredictable, tornadoes are deadly. We have to prepare for a tornado. We have to listen out for warnings and we have to move quick just in case one forms and comes. Got it? An unpredictable and deadly force of nature. They usually come from... Okay, we're gonna watch this video on wind and water changing earth. Changing. Okay. Wind and water erosion can damage earth. Hurricanes can flood towns and cause beach erosion. Tornadoes can damage homes and rip trees out of the ground. Wind and water can also create... We are reading a book called Volcanoes. This genre is going to be informational text, and we're going to read some more about volcanoes. What text feature is this? Table of Contents. It's going to tell me what page each heading is on. Let's go ahead and read about Mount St. Helens. But it says Mount St. Helen is located in Washington. Why do you think the author included this map right here? Yes. 
Exactly, they show you exactly on the map where Mount St. Helen is. Why is this word right here highlighted? Why is the word highlighted? Yes. Because it's an important word in the Absolutely, the it's an important word and the author is drawing attention to this word right here. Obviously an informational text is gonna give you a lot of dates and um, specific names of things. Good morning, Good morning is tonight. tonight. The cold blue east, 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 east across the United, United States. States. Within three days, Within three days, days as from the volcano, a picture here. Let's read the caption. An ash and gas cloud blast out onto the volcano. And this is the ash cloud coming out of the volcano. If we look here on the next page, we can see why do volcanoes erupt? So if this is the heading, what are we gonna be reading about? Yes. Why do volcanoes erupt? Why do they actually erupt? Let's read, here we go. Long ago, ancient people told stories to explain why volcanoes erupted, but they didn't know that really caused them. Scientists now know that hot ash and melted rock pushed up from the mantle through these openings. The hot melted rock is called lava. Oh, that's a pronunciation. So if we didn't know how to pronunciate the word lava, it's here for us. Lava. Okay, you see it? When it pours out of a volcano. So here we have a picture of a what? A volcano. A volcano. And then we see that there are labels to show us what is actually inside the volcano. Okay? So we have the ash coming out of the top. We have the lava. We have the volcano itself. And we have the magma that is inside the volcano. Okay? What new information did you learn from this page? Yes. Lava can be hotter than 1,000 degrees. Yes, which can actually make it deadly for humans. Yes. Volcanoes are very destructive. It is very destructive, yes. Lava is not the only dangerous part of the volcano. Very good. Thank you. Yes. The cloud of huge hot rock ashes that pushed out of the 